Hey YouTube, I've got an exciting for me review to do today. Um, picked up these guys um, today, and I got. Unfortunately, I got Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo only. Um, where I got them from, Kapow Toys. Um, had sold out of Leonardo. Um, Hopefully going to get him in in a couple of weeks and then I'll be able to get the team all together. Um, I was not planning on getting these guys, well, not when I went in there the other day at all. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was going to pick these guys up or not. Um, I thought they looked a little bit bland in some of the reviews I'd seen and I wasn't I wasn't really feeling them. I mean, I love turtles. I've had lots of turtles. I've still got some of the, the vintage stuff. The Necker Turtles were amazing, um, but these guys, when I saw them in hand, I mean, I, I just went in there to say hello to the guy that, that works there, or that owns the place. And um, he had Raphael just sat there, and I hadn't even noticed it, and he's like, oh, look what I got in. And I turned around and saw him, and I was like, oh! Um, and they're just so big. I haven't got one to, to compare it to, but give me one second, we'll go grab something. So, I imagine most people would have this figure, um, or something along those lines. I, ha I haven't got any uh, Master of the Universe classics to compare them to, but they're like that sort of scale. They would fit in with that, I'm sure. Because look, look at the comparison of the body and everything. They're, these are bigger than the Marvel Legends stuff. Well, you know, some of them. Really, really good. And I saw it and I was holding the box. And I just had to have them. So I got these guys. Um, Raphael was the one that kind of convinced me that I needed to get them. I mean, his face sculpt for me. I haven't got Leo yet, as I said. But Raphael's face. It looks like good. He just looks so mean. It looks like he means business. Love him. Uh, they Obviously, all of them come with um, these little stands. Really nice. I really like them. It's nice to have the old logo on there. Um... Just sewer caps, massive sewer caps if they were real, but um, really nice. I love getting these um, figure stands. Marvel Universe used to do it, now they've stopped and I'm gutted. I just think figure stands are brilliant. Um, not as good as builder figure pieces, Hasbro, but figure stands are good. So yeah, these are nice ones as well. They're not just plain old boring things. So pleased to have that. And then I'm going to do Raphael first, and I will do the other guys separately that I have. Um, so let's have a little look. Um, really, really nice paint job, but it is very simple. Um, there aren't really many paint apps on the figure for them to get wrong. White paint app wise, you've got the mouth, the eyes, and the letter on the belt. Um, and that is it, really. There is no wash over the skin or anything. Um, I get these are, like, the classics, so they're making them like the originals, and the originals, you know, didn't have a wash over them. But it would have been nice to have a little bit of a, a wash over it to bring out some of the details. Um, and they are very smooth. Smooth skinned. I mean, I know that they're the turtles, so... You know, there isn't much detail in the sculpt. And this is one of the things that I wasn't sure about. They look like they were just plain boring figures. But then when you get them in hand, they feel so nice. They're a really nice plastic. They don't feel cheap at all. They feel like they're nice plastics used on this. Um, all these pieces are separate. Little like These bits here join in between the elbow and it's separate. Um, and this piece here, it swivels on its own. And then down there, you know, it's a separate, the solid separate pieces. Um, and this is separate as well, this bandana. And it's nice to have the uh, pupils in the eyes as well. It's good. And the teeth are sculpted in there. My, my, flat, my camera's a bit too bright. The light's a bit too bright. It's not getting it. But it's got the teeth in there, which is great. Um, comes with his size. That's what they're called. Katana? No. Katana's a sword, he's a size. <laughs> Stand. Um, and they're nicely done. Red paint apps on the uh, handles of that. 
and he gets two of them. They don't come with any other accessories, you know, like the other ones used to. They had that little thing where you'd snap off all the different weapons. There's none of that. Um, but, you know, you don't need it really. They were always crap and just got lost. Um, Articulation-wise, I'll start from the bottom up for a change. They've got the articulated toes, which would be unnecessary if they didn't come with the figure stand. So you can get some decent poses. Now you've got that figure stand, you can probably get them without it. See, like, see, this is his foot with the toes posed differently, and he's getting a decent stance with that, which is good. Um, so yeah, in articulated toes, two of them as it should be. You've got a swivel on the foot, goes a 360 up and down, and oh look, his foot came off. It's on a ball joint, so look at that. So you can get it and move it round and have it how you want it um, that's a little bit scary how easily that just popped off and it does that side as well They cut, their feet come off really easily um, but it goes back on alright it doesn't feel broken that, that, that was not nice that moment there so there's the articulation on the feet you've got double jointed knees always a good thing so you can get some good ninja poses out of that um, you've got a cut on the thigh which I'm struggling to move. There you go, a cut on the thigh, and then nice range of movement on the hips as well. You know, you've got a good, and it's nice smooth. It's just the plastic feels so nice. It doesn't feel cheap or like it's gonna uh, pop off or break. But yeah, um, and then he's got this diaphragm cup here, so you can, you know, wiggle, um, and it comes forward and back, and they've done it quite nicely as well. Because I was worried that it was just going to be a hollow shell. But they've actually filled in the shell as well. So you see under there, it's not just empty shell. So it kind of fits in. And they've done the belt so that it, it cuts down. So when you stand them up straight, it all lines up nicely. And he fits back in there really well. So that's good. Um, arms, you've got ball hinged shoulders. Swivel on the bicep. Again, double jointed elbows. Um, and the hands... Well, the wrists they turn, it does turn independently from, from this thing here. And you see, I wasn't sure at first, but in there you see it, it's got the, uh, the hinge joint there, and it's really, really tight. Almost like they don't want you to use it, but it is there. And then he's got individually articulated fingers and a thumb. So the fingers go back and forth, and the thumb goes left and right and up and down. Now the only thing that I am a little bit disappointed with articulation wise is the head because it does come off. It's just on a ball. So um I wouldn't advise taking these off because it doesn't like it. So you kinda of up and down move motion is a bit limited so like you could get him especially with the figure stand you know you can get some some decent sort of poses where he's kicking but he's not going to be able to look down so you know he's just looking off into the air which is a shame that's the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with articulation wise but there we go um on the articulation side of things as well and I'm, you know, I know other people have said it. The holding of the weapons is a little tricky. What I have found to be the best thing. So if you look at it from that angle, when the hands, the more they close, the better the, the grip positioning is. So although it's got an articulated thumb, if like if you hold it out like that, and then you close the thumb on it, it's an open hand and. Although it's not falling out now, it it doesn't hold it particularly tight. The way to get these guys to hold their weapons is to get the weapon, put it in the palm of the hand, and close the fingers and thumb around it like that, and then he's got a nice solid grip on it. Um, and I haven't had any troubles doing it like that. And that's the same with all the ones I've got. Even Donatello holds it okay when you do it like that. Quite nice as well. The fingers are spaced apart decently, so you can get his size in there close the thumb up around it and it is a little bit loose but with a little you know you wiggle it around until you're happy and you can get him holding 
them like that. So he can hold it like that. I'm oh, sorry, get out of shot. He can hold it like that. And he can also, and I don't like doing this because it feels like it's pushing the plastic apart a little bit and I don't want to rub the paint off or anything. Um, and he can hold it like that as well. So there we go. I really like this figure. Nice, nice figure. Um, stands on his base well. And you can get some decent poses out of him. Really, really, really like these characters, these figures. Well done on making these. These are nice. One, these are these are as good a quality as the Masters of the Universe classics easily. Um, so yeah, the great figures. Definitely recommend picking them up. Like I said, I picked these up at Kapow Toys. You can find them at kapow underscore toys dot com or dot co dot uk. Um, and they're always happy to help see what they've got in stock. Pick these up. They've got the Nickelodeon little ones as well. I'm probably going to pick them up next week. So when I do, I'll give you guys a little look at that as well. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go and do the other two figures now. Um, so yeah, there we go. Thanks very much and goodbye.